sponsored a shortstop. Gregorius has trouble getting out of the glove, but the Yankees are still able to turn the double play with Bruce scoring from third. That's a trade off the Yankees will make any day. Part of a second half resurgence for Chase. Breaking ball hit into the gap in left center field. Kipnis laying it and making the catch like he was born out there. And I see Kipnis in a commercial getting dirty all the time. That was at second base, but in the outfield, more grass stains than dirt. And this was to the delight of not only the fans, but Trevor Bauer, as that could have been an easy double. Six strikeouts for Trevor Bauer through four. Bruce with a drive high in the air to right field. Judge at the wall, can only watch that one go! Earlier tonight, we called Jay Bruce a notorious fly ball hitter. Indeed, his whole game is to lift it in the air. He's got one of the highest fly ball line drive rates in baseball. A double and a home run to different sides of the ballpark tonight. By Warren, one by Garcia. And Bruce with a gapper into left center. Hicks will get there to make the catch. Tagging up is Ramirez. The throw's too late. And Jay Bruce does it again. pitch check swing did he go yes he did here it comes a swing and a miss ball game Kluber trying to avoid back-to-back -back one out walks to start the game Sanchez puts it in play out to center field balls well hit kept us looking up and it's gone Gary Sanchez breaks out a smile for the first time in this series as he breaks out the big lumber giving the Yankees a 2-0 lead around throw to the plates offline and just like that the Indians tie it to is bounced past Lindor into left center field. Sanchez comes around to score, and the Yankees have pulled even at three. Hicks well hit to right. Bruce can only watch, and that one's gone! Swing and a high drive to right field. Bruce gives this one a look, and this one is gone. The next 0-2. And that hit him. That loads the bases. It's the knob of the bat. Sanchez could hear the sound. And he hits the knob of the bat, and he somehow finds his glove. That's exactly what happened. I don't know that it, it hits the wow, knob sure of the did. bat.
Yankees have the go ahead run at second base. The set by Allen and the pitch to Brett Gardner. He shows and takes a ball up high. Throw back to second. Not quite in time. The Indians may challenge the call. Gomes with a great throw to the shortstop Lindor. Boy, this is going to be some kind of call. That was a fast tag by Lindor. He's out. What another great throw by Jan Gomes. <laughs> to the bottom of the track. Josh Tomlin with an all-business inning in relief. One, two, three, eight yesterday with three strikeouts. There goes Jackson, had a big jump, throw down to second base, he is too late. It's payoff pitch. Swung on, banged a third, down the line it goes, fair ball, base hit into the corner, here comes Jackson, the Indians win it, and on the 10th pitch of the at bat, he banged a single down the third baseline, and the Indians in one of the most improbable comebacks in Indians playoff history. Masahira Tanaka on the mound for the Yankees. Carrasco on the mound for Cleveland in game three tonight. Got him. And that pitch left. Struck him out swing. Got him. Not on this occasion, however, as Carrasco strikes him. Knock a deal. Struck him out swing. Struck him out swinging. Struck him out swinging. Split it. The 3-2. Called strike three on the inside corner at the knees. Here comes his one two. Swing and a miss strike three. Here it comes. Swing and a miss strike three. Lindor with a swing and a drive to right field. Judge back at the wall. Reaches up and makes the catch. He took it back. In fact, he stole a home run from Lindor. Shallow left Lindor out from shortstop to retire the side and end the bases loaded threat. Struck him out swinging. Swung on a high fly to right center. There is Judge underneath. And Judge makes the catch. Tanaka has put seven brilliant scoreless innings. Left hander on the mound, Greg Bird said, I got this. Greg Bird breaks the scoreless tie with a long home run to right. There he is, the Birdman of New York. Carlos Santana represents the last chance for Cleveland tonight. Here's the next 3 2 home to Santana. Swing and a drive out to left center field. Gardner calling for it. Now it's Hicks saying he's there. And the Yankees survive to win a game four. It is Luis Severino on the mound for the Yankees. As Kipnis strikes out. And he finally gets Brantley. Only three American leaguers struck out more during the regular. It's a breaking ball lined into the corner and left. That's a fair ball. Castro scores and Frazier's in the second with the game's first RBI. Into the gap in right center field. Frazier's going to score easily. 2 nothing Yankees. They had in the second. Gardner pokes it to third. Urshela over the first, and Santana had to come off the bag. Five nothing Yankees for his power against right-handers. Into center field and well hit. Hicks is back, still on the move, and that one is gone. A 
two out two run home run by Carlos Santana and the Indians are on the board. Well just on cue upper third of the zone he has zero home runs. Perez with a drive to the opposite field that ball's got a chance not even Aaron Judge's reach can bring this one back and it's a two run ball game. Perez is amazing. He doesn't hit much for average throughout the year. Three home runs last year. Sanchez to the opposite field and well hit. And gone. Yeah, they've all come alive tonight. This guy's electric. Sky three is gone. On the ground is shortstop. Luis Severino's night is complete. And the Yankees have stamped off elimination once again. There will be a decisive game five in Cleveland on Wednesday. Gregorius with a drive to right field and go! Sir Didi's second of the postseason. A little bit surprised by the pitch. You see where they wanted to go, but where it ended up was right in that nice wheelhouse for Didi. CC's been unbelievable. 6 and 0 in nine ALDS starts. Struck him out swinging high fastball. Struck him out swinging slider away. Swing and a miss. Like that. <laughs> Gregorius again! He got him for the second time! Didi. Three Indians zero. Four strikeouts and a swing and a miss by Bruce. And CC deals bunted and popped up in the air and it is caught by CC who goes down to his knees to make the catch. And he is perfect tonight through three. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. He goes away on three pitches. Eight strikeouts for Sabathia. Nine strikeouts for CC Sabathia tonight. Jackson being waved around, he'll score. And the Indians are on the board in game five. 1-1. One, one. Into right field once again. Urshela shortens up and punches an RBI single the other way. Oh, what a fine approach by Giovanni Urshela. Redeeming himself after a two-error game in game four. And it's a one-run game. And that's going to be all for Sabathia. Here's the payoff pitch. Gardner runs. It's a cold strike three. Throw to second. And they got him. A strike him out. Throw him out. Double play against the Indians out of the jam. The pitch. Swung on in line as a base set to right field. Hicks will score. And the ball gets away on the infield. Here comes Gardner. wins this year have come in elimination games. A come from behind wild card victory, then down 0-2 in this series. They claim games three and four at home, take game five on the road, and are headed to Houston.